गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल ज्ञान मंजरी मॉडर्न स्कूल सो इन द प्रीवियस सेमेस्टर वी हैव जस्ट ओवर ऑल द मोस्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर्स एंड नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विथ आर न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर फोर मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स सो दिस इज योर फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस सेमेस्टर एंड वी आर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर नंबर फोर दैट इज मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स दैट इज ऑन द पेज नंबर फोर्टी सेवन एंड हियर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज एलिमेंट्स that is metals and non metals so here i am just writing the topic elements elements so elements are of two types that is metals and another is non metals metals and non metals so first of all what is elements okay what is elements elements are total total elements are 118 total 118 elements are there 118 elements are there and from that sorry not 100 yes and total 118 elements are there and from that 92 are natural okay students and so here starting with that we have studied about elements and compounds in class 7 everything on the earth include including human being all other living and non living things air water soil are made up of one or more chemical elements we also come across numerous elements other elements in our daily life so there are more than 100 elements known to mankind an element is made up of only one kind of atom first of all what is element element is only one kind of atom the one kind of atom combined together and forms an element okay an element can be classified two broad broad categories that are a metals and non metals so here first of all metals what are metals i am writing the examples that is gold silver mercury etc are metals and non metals non metals that can be say carbon sulfur hydrogen etc are the non metals okay so the elements are just categorized into their properties and then they are divided into two parts that is metals and non metals metals have their different properties and non metals have their different property so in short i can say that the elements elements are broadly divided into two parts that is metals and non metals it is divided on the properties of it so the elements are divided according to their property so some of the property are of metals and some of the properties are of non metals so that is divided of it okay and here see here i am just reading it gold mercury silver iron copper aluminium are examples of matter carbon sulfur hydrogen oxygen are examples of non metals metals and non metals have different physical and chemical properties so here first of all physical properties of metals and non metals so first of all we will study the physical properties of metals and non metals physical 
physical properties okay physical properties first of all what is physical properties the properties which we can see like color taste and other thing shape and other thing that is are known as physical properties see here, let us see here, a definition is given physical properties are used to observe and describe matters examples of physical properties are state of matters luster color hardness malleability ductility thermal conductivity electrical conductivity and sonority so first of uh, metals and non metals generally have opposite properties so first of all let us see the physical state see physical state physical state so here this is divided into uh, first of all we will see the physical state of metal so the physical state of metal they said metal exist as solid at room temperature metal exist as solid at room temperature room temperature but there is an exceptional in it mercury mercury is the only metal which is liquid at room temperature it is written over here mercury is an exception that occurs in a liquid state at room temperature only a mercury is a metal which is liquid at room temperature or all all the else are at solid at room temperature and now just moving towards non metals non metals here non metals exist non metal exists as either solid or liquid sorry gas gases at room temperature room temperature okay students with the exception of bromine bromine is only metal which is liquid at room temperature here in the metals the in the physical state metals we can see metals exist as solid at room temperature but there is was an exception that was mercury that mercury is the only metal which is liquid at room temperature and here in non metals non metals exist as either solid or gases at room temperature but here is also an exception that bromine is only non metal which exist liquid at room temperature okay students now moving further so further the another property is luster so let us see the another property luster we can say luster is chamak in hindi we can say the shining or chamak luster so in that the metals metals 
metals can be polished see here the metals can be polished to have a shiny appearance and they can reflect light means luster means the metals are luster means it is shiny when it is polished it can be polished also and it is shiny objects and it reflects the light okay students and non metals they have luster here i can write metals have metals have and now non metals non metals they do not have sorry most non metal metals are without any luster okay students so the another property that was luster the metals have luster means they have shiny surface and non metals do not have but some of it will have most do not have it so here i am reading it metals metals can be polished to have a shiny appearance and they can reflect light this property of metal is called luster which is used widely for making jewelry statues and other decorative articles metals such as silver gold and platinum are used for making jewelry and copper and silver for making other decorative articles non metals most non metals are without any luster as they occur as powder or gas they cannot be polished graphite and iodine are exceptions they have luster see here in the non metals graphite and iodine this both have luster else do uh, any of the non metals do not have luster okay students so let us see it again the physical state physical state in metals uh, exist solid at room temperature and non metals exist as solid or gas at room temperature in metal there was an exception that was mercury mercury is liquid at room temperature and here in non metal there was bromine which exists liquid in the room temperature all the other else metals are solid at room temperature and non metals are either solid or gas in metals that is mercury it it is in liquid form in the room temperature and the other bromine it is liquid in the room temperature that is non metals and then coming towards the luster means the shine uh, shining or chamak we can say in hindi so metals metals have luster means they have shiny surfaces which can reflect the light metals can reflect the light it is making uh the metals are used for making jewelry and uh, statues and etc and also decorate some of the decorative items and non metals most non metals are without any luster but only two non metals are have lusters which are they graphite and iodine this both have luster else any non metal do not have any luster okay students so if you want to underline this this some of the main points of the paragraph you can underline which i am writing on the board and the another property that is color
color so in color metals and non metals so color we can see color all metals are white or silvery gray with the exception of gold which is yellow and copper which is reddish brown so here gold and copper are of different color all the other else metals are white or silvery gray okay students here non metals non metals some non metals are colored such as chlorine which is greenish yellow bromine a brown liquid iodine a violet solid a sulfur which is a yellow powder oxygen hydrogen nitrogen etc are colorless gases so here in the color physical property like color metals metals are of white or grayish white color most of the metals but the gold gold is of yellow color and the another was copper which is reddish brown color this two have different all the other else are white or grayish white in color and non metals non metals are of different types of the colors okay students now moving further to the hardness moving further to the hardness so the hardness hardness so metals are usually hard and strong you can i am just writing metals are usually usually hard and strong hard and strong and non metals non metals non metals that exist exist in solid state solid state are not are not hard as metals and in there is also an exception that is of diamond which is the hardest substance but it is non metal it is an exception so hardness metals are usually hard and strong but non metals that exists in solid state are not hard as metals but only the substance the diamond it is the hardest hardest substance okay students so this is the physical property that is hardness the diamond is the hardest substance naturally occurring substance on the earth here see here i am just reading it metals are usually hard and strong with some exceptions such as sodium and potassium which are so soft that they can be cut with a knife so here is on the metal in the metal there is an exception that is sodium and potassium and in non metal that is an exception that is diamond which is the hardest naturally occurring substance on the earth okay students so here we just over the video over here and in the homework you have to write the three properties which i have just taught you which which the physical properties the first was physical state then it was the luster and then it was the 
color and then it was the hardness. So, these four properties you have to write in your homework and we will meet in the next video. Okay, bye students.